Hi guys, my name is Ben. I'm from the United States. I recently purchased one of these magic floater devices from JM Concepts and Simmer Labs after seeing it on the internet. It works very well. You just have to know the trick to make it work. Um, when I bought this, uh, it took me about two hours to figure out the trick to get my platform there to hover. But now that I understand how the device works, I can get it set up in less than five seconds every single time. Now I've owned several magnetic floating devices throughout the years from different companies, most notably Fascinations, and they all have a trick on how to make them work. This platform is no different. One of the things that helped me were the instructions that Selly sent me on the Levitron Revolution. It's a device that is this device here that's coming out this Christmas to the to the general public. Um, I'm going to read to you instructions three through six and explain to you how they work okay number three says to hold the magnetic platform gently in both hands with thumbs and index fingers at a height of about one foot above the center of the base now it doesn't matter if you're using the plain uh, magnet to float or if you're using one of their globes to float the magnet will be located in the bottom here you just want to keep it level or I even have one of their meditation Buddhas that also floats okay the trick here it says is to hold the magnet with your thumb and index fingers at a height of about one foot okay that's very important you don't want to be really low you want to be clear up here okay above the center the very center of the device okay now these four lights here indicate the center of the magnetic area that you need to float above these lights on the outside are there just for, for decoration and looks, okay? So what you want to do is you can look over the device, set your magnet up about a foot over the center, and hold it level with your thumb and fingers, okay? Number four says to lower the magnet fairly rapidly, keeping it level. This takes about one second until you feel that the upward magnetic force is supporting the weight of the magnetic platform. This is called the float height. That's the trick. The first trick is to keep it centered. The second trick is to lower it down rapidly. Okay, you want to lower it down above the platform rapidly. You don't want to do it very slow. You want to drop it down. And what I think you have to do there, in my opinion, the way that this works is this base here has a magnetic field. That's this black dotted line here. Okay, and this is your magnetic platform. I think there's another magnetic field that's indicated here in red that you actually have to puncture through to get the magnet to the correct height, okay? If you drop down real slow, the magnet's going to want to go to one side or the other, which may be what you guys are having happen. That's what happened to me when I first got it. I would sit here and the magnet would go to one side or the other and it would not stay centered. It's because I was doing it too slow. So, number five says, the bright LEDs in the center of the unit indicate when the magnet platform is centered. You will notice that one or two of the LED lights are probably not on at this point of the procedure. This indicates that the magnet is not centered. Move the magnet horizontally towards the LED that is off until it lights up. If you move too far in that direction, however, the opposite side will turn off and you'll have to bring it back towards that side. You want to try and get all four of these lights on at the same time. Okay. Now, while all LEDs are on, you want to slowly and very carefully release the magnet. As you do so, continue to make minor adjustments to try and keep all four of the lights on. It's actually very simple, and I'll show you how it works. First thing, you want to make sure all four lights are on. You want to hold your magnetic platform like it says with your thumb and index fingers, center it over the unit, and drop it down rapidly, keeping it centered and then you want to just make some minor adjustments. I'm going to try it one more time. You got to let these lights come back on. Drop it down, make the adjustments, and then let go of it. Just like that. Now this device can actually hold up to 12 ounces of weight, which is incredible. Once you figure out how to make it work, it's very simple. Center it, hold the device about a foot over the unit, you want to drop it down until you feel the upward push of the magnet on the base 
And then while it's riding on that, you just want to make very small movements to get it centered, just like this. There you go. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like with the Buddha floating. Same thing, you want to hold this centered over the lights. And there you go. Once you get the hang of it, it's very easy to do. One more time. The two tricks are to keep it dead center, hold it way up high, drop it down quickly until you feel it kind of pushing against the base. And then once it's on that, you just kind of want to move it towards one of the lights that's off. There you go. As you can see, perfectly floating. Here's a 